Hey guys, what's up? So here's the deal. I have this old TV stand that I bought back in college um, and I brought it home. I uh, got it for like 10 bucks at Goodwill. It was kind of cool at the time because college and cheap equals awesome. So what I decided to do was take and make it awesome er, awesomer, more awesome. Awesomest? Awesomer. More awesome. Um, but anyway, what I did was I decided to make it more awesome and uh, fill it with LED lights. Well, the problem is I didn't do that very well. Um, turned out to be kind of lame. Uh, used way too many wires. Wasn't very bright. Had these dumb little toggle switches that kind of suck. But over time, I found out that there are these awesome things called LED strip lights. Because um, I learned things over time in, with Google. Google can teach you a lot. You can't learn it in school, learn it through Google. But what I decided to do was buy some of that. I've used it for past projects, but now I decided, hey, this would be some really great stuff to use on this entertainment stand and fix it up and make it better. So uh, that's what I decided to do in this project, and that's what we're going to do today. So we're gonna start off by ripping out all of the old uh, LED things. Um, I've got all these individual diodes and these wires running everywhere, and it's not cool. And I have a number one saying, if it doesn't look good, it's not gonna work, because I'll rip it out and do it over again. So now that all of our things are removed, we're going to do some measuring, make sure our LED strips are the proper length for all of our stuff. Here's our stand, ready and prepped to go. It is willing and waiting for its remake and remodel. All right, so we're gonna need a few things to make this project happen, and they're all pictured here. We have a DMX dimmer, various colored wire. We also have some solder and a soldering iron, our power adapter, clippers, and we have finally our LED strip. So it's time to cut our LEDs into the appropriate lengths. Uh, next, we're going to turn on our soldering iron and wait and wait some more, and wait some more. Takes a while for this thing to heat up. So while we're waiting for the soldering iron to heat up some more, we're going to cut some more of the wire. Strip off just a little bit of the end. You don't need very much, maybe an eighth of an inch. So after we've stripped the wires, we're going to tin the ends of the wire just a little bit, which basically means just put a little bit of solder on the end so it's easier to attach to the LED strip. So after you've gotten all your wires attached to the LED strip, and then you've tested them to make sure they all work properly, uh, we're going to then attach the LED strip to the TV stand. After you've run your Ethernet cable from the extensions that you put on the LED strips earlier to the back of the TV stand, make it look all pretty. I used some duct tape uh, to just kind of tape it up so you can't really see them, hide the wires. You're going to strip the ends of all of the Ethernet cable and prepare them for connection to our DMX controller. This may take a little while, but it's okay. Just have patience and make sure you get it all done and it's all clean. Now that your ethernet cable has been stripped and separated out into the corresponding colors, you're now going to take each color from the ethernet cable and attach it to the corresponding terminal on the DMX controller. And there we have it. Our TV stand has been made more awesome. With just a few LED strips, some wire, and some manly intuition, or womanly intuition, whoever you are making this project, we were able to take a $10 TV stand and turn it into something awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me making a TV stand awesome. Um, if you'd like to know more about some of the products that I used in this video, um, I'll put the links in the description down below and uh, you can go buy those things, get something different. I don't care, um, but they'll be there for you to use. And uh, I hope you stick around for the next video where I make my car more awesome. See you next time.